how's it going traders you're welcome back to my channel and today in this video we'll be talking about how to analyze the market using the multiple or different time frames as you know that in the crypto and the forex market we have different time frames we have the monthly we have the weekly we have the daily four hours 45 minutes eight hours 12 hours different time frame a lot of them and the reason why we have this time frame is so that you as a trader will be able to determine which one works best for you and which one applies that much to your strategy. So we have a lot of time frames and in this video, I'll be teaching you how to use all these time frames to your advantage. I know there are traders who use just, who trade on just one time frame. And I must say that this is not the best thing to do as a trader because Using different time frames from the higher to the lower gives you an opportunity to be able to look at the broad aspect of the market and also look at what is happening immediately in the market. And from that, find a way to combine both and, and bring out a, a profitable trading strategy and profitable trades in the long run. So I'll be using multiple time frames for a long time and i've been able to determine that using multiple time frame to analyze the market gives you an edge in the market and helps you uh become a profitable trader if you have a reasonable strategy and that so i would like to look at the multiple time frame i start from most of the time when i analyze the market i start from the monthly to the weekly to the daily to the four hours sometimes the eight hours one hour 30 minutes and most times i pick my entries on one hour and 30 minutes depending on what i am seeing on the chart so i'm not going to say that you always have to use all this time frame but then what matters is that you have to find depending on the kind of trade you are a day trader a scalp trader or whatever tra kind of trading you do you have to find a a time frame that gives you the big picture as a higher time frame and also find a time frame that gives you the 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 the, the smaller picture of what exactly is happening currently in the market so and that is what matters so it doesn't matter that you go to some people look at the three month time frame and i don't look at it so you have to find a higher time frame and a lower time frame that is suitable for the kind of trade you trade and that gives you uh, an edge in the market so that is what i'll be teaching you in this uh video and i'll be using gold as an example because you know i trade crypto i trade for gold is a commodity in the forest market that a lot of us trade so i'll be using gold and also bitcoin yeah for crypto traders so make sure you stick around to the end of this video hit the like button subscribe to my channel and also i would like if you can put down a comment in the comment section and tell me which topics you would love me to talk about on this channel i'm definitely going to be looking down in the comment section and i'll be looking out for for your comment so let's get right into the video so right here we have i'll be looking i'll be looking at the daily time frame as my higher time frame for this video because sometimes when you have the daily time frame giving you a lot of information you really don't need to go to the weekly and the monthly but if you don't have enough information on the daily you might need to look into the monthly and the weekly and also aside that sometimes when you when you zoom out your chart and look at the daily you'll be able to see and you're able to see like a movement from a very long time this has been from 2016 this should give you a clearer picture of what has been happening in that market so so for this video i'll be just look i'll just be looking at the daily as my higher time frame and then from that i'll be analyzing from the daily i'll be analyzing from the daily and then i'll be switching to the lower time frame to show you how i analyze the market and how to do that using the multiple time frame so let's go so now we have the daily time frame and from the daily time frame from the gold chart you can see that we've been in an uptrend since around november 2022 which is six to eight months ago so we've been an uptrend since then and this is a triple bottom this is a triple bottom you can see this bottom one this is the market moved from the, the market was need previously in a downtrend the market was previously in a downtrend move to this place then reversed it reversed up the market reversed up came 
let me just use uh sorry let me just let me remove this and just use the brush so the market pretty much moved from this place it moved from this place came to the downside went up again give us the second uh bottom went up a little give us another bottom would give us what you call the triple bottom triple bottom is actually a triple bottom is actually sorry let me just get rid of this so the triple bottom is actually one of the chart patterns that i usually look out for in the market and especially on a higher time frame so once i see a pattern on a higher time frame it gives me enough confidence that this is likely or most likely going to play out so looking at this the market moved from this place went up came back pushed up higher a little bit and came back to this side and this side is a triple bottom which is a very good demand zone where a lot of buyers would be coming in to push the market up and that was in november so the triple bottom comp formation completed in november and the market and that gave birth to the move to the upside from 1606.87 for gold per ounce up to the all-time high at 2075 so that is okay the gold, gold has come to this all-time high about three times since 2020 so it has come it came back it came here in august 2020 pushed to the downside came back in 2022 march came to the downside and since uh we've had this true bottom we've been able to reach the all-time high once again so now the market is pretty much in an uptrend overall because we are on a higher time frame which is the daily time frame and we are looking at the move from this place to this place even though even though during this movement we've been having some pullbacks which is going to be a temporary downtrend but then the market is permanently or obviously in an uptrend on the, looking at the bigger picture so and you know when the market is an uptrend you will be looking for buying opportunities so another significant thing in this when actually when i'm on a high time from there are actually some things i look out for some of them are major candlestick formations so when i see major candlestick formations maybe the bullish engulfing at areas of value i look out for them on a higher time frame and i trade with them even though i don't trade i don't trade on a higher time frame i only analyze on a higher time frame i look at the bigger picture on a higher time frame and i trade on the lower time frame so looking at this higher time frame i only i'm only trying to spot some opportunities like the chart patterns like what i have just seen here which is the triple bottom which give birth to this growth to this movement to the upside and also after looking at the daily time frame sometimes i switch to the four hour time frame to be able to look at my key areas of value and if you look at this chart you will see that the market is currently at an area of value and i was even shorting this market some one hour ago yeah from this place when i spot this when i spotted this uh reversal this candle that has a week to the upside i was shorting this market from this place to this place around just one two hours ago but then that's not that's not what i want to talk about what i talk about is that from this higher time frame i try to look at my obvious areas of value on the four hour so this is an area of value which is obvious this area this zone is an area of value also this area is also an area of value yeah, somewhere around here so i spot areas of value i would be trading from if market moves to this area of value so now this is an area of value where i would be trading from even though temporarily the market has been a downtrend from this point from this point market has been a downtrend which is actually temporary and the market has hit a support level so at this support level sorry at this support level what i'll be looking for is this market 
which are which is giving me a weak rejection on the four hour and if the four hour candle compete and give me a massive rejection to the downside on this candle i will be looking for an opportunity to buy but then how do i do that having looked at the higher time frame and spotted that this market is in overall uptrend but then we have had a pull back to an area of value where i'll be looking for where i'll be liking to join the buy you know is you know one thing about analyzing the market is that when you spot these opportunities on a higher time frame higher time frame tells you okay fine this is this uh this is an uptrend but you switch to the four hour or maybe something lower maybe a trade hour and draw your areas of value so having drawn this area of value the market is telling me that this is a point where a lot of buyers have always come to the market to long it as we can see and it's also an area of liquidity if you trade liquidity concept so this market has come to this area and on the four hour it is giving me a kind of rejection telling me the market is trying to push to the downside but it's been getting rejected so i'm likely going to look at this time for this market okay this sorry this is the daily so let me just switch back to the four hour so this is back on the four hour and this is telling me the market is trying to just clear the liquidity around this zone and if this candle kind of close with this long rejection we are likely going to be buying the market we are likely going to look for an entry or a trigger to buy so this is just what I can see on the four hour, which is a lower time frame. Considering the fact that I use uh, a daily time frame as a higher time frame. So apart from looking for major candlestick and looking for the direction and chart patterns on the higher time frame, I switched to the lower time frame to look for trading opportunities. And this is currently what I'm doing on this four hour time frame. So on this four hour time frame, I have spotted the trading opportunity to go long if the market if the candle closes with a long rejection to the downside which is telling me that this market is trying to move down or it's trying to just clear some liquidity and start rallying up targeting the all-time high again so then i switch to more lower time frame to get much more information so now i'm on one hour time frame let me just get rid of this this line i don't like to have too many lines on my chart so now we are on the more on a one hour time frame which is a more lower time frame and seeing on the one hour you can see this market gave us a rejection to the downside and then this is a bullish candle even though with a rejection from the upside so we are likely going to look for more bullish confirmation from this side to be able to long but if we have one two three hours candle closing with a rejection around this place then it's telling us the market is likely going to break this support and we look for short opportunities so on the one hour we look for opportunities to enter the market so hopefully if we have a bullish candle if we have bullish candles in the one in the next one hour or two hours around this place we'll be able to take a long on this market and we'll be setting our target so now looking at uh looking at the lower time frame one of the things the lower time frame helps you to do is to set your target so let's assume we have a candle a, a bullish candlestick formation around this area of value and we want to long the market for example this market you'll be targeting areas of values somewhere around here for your first target because that's the next area of value you can identify and this is going to give you a then from that side you will be targeting somewhere around here too for your second target and this might be your third target even though it's definitely going to take you some time to be able to ride the market up from this point to that place but that is what is going to give you a very reasonable risk to reward trade a very reasonable risk to reward trade if if we are going to go long on this market so the bone of contention in this analysis is that 
when you analyze the market on a higher time frame and see the bigger picture on a higher time frame we have found out that the market is in an uptrend but then we have a temporary downtrend and that trend that downtrend has hit a major support it has hit a major support that's what we saw on the daily time frame now we scale to the four hour time frame to draw the possible possible areas of value we can see on the chart and that was done on the lower on the four hour time frame then we scale to more lower time frame sometimes i scale to the 30 minutes and the 15 minutes but for gold i usually don't go to the 15 on 30 minutes for gold i like to stick with the four hour and one hour on gold as my lower time frame because gold is a vo very volatile pair or commodity rather and if you are not very careful you might be missing out on some good trade opportunities or also getting into liquidity and being readed so for this that is what i'll be looking for on gold and i'll be taking my entry if i can get more bullish confirmation in on this one hour chart but if not we might be looking for an opportunity to to break this support level and start shorting the market but then my general bias on gold is still long because the daily time frame is telling me the market is long the overall trend is telling me the market is long and i'll be looking for a long so that is so that is that for gold so i would like to switch to btc chart and see if we can analyze btc using multiple time frames let's see if we can analyze btc using multiple time frames for btc because of the nature of btc i would like to analyze btc using starting from the monthly time frame starting from the monthly time frame so let's let's see what the monthly time frame has to offer on btc and see if we'll be able to analyze that using the monthly and get some opportunities to trade this is the monthly time frame on btc and this month so far We've been bearish and today is the 25th of the month so that's telling us that this month has been a bearish month so far we the market opened this month around 29k and we've rallied up to 25,550 and the current market price is 26,300 so the, the month has been bearish and we know from this market from this time frame where the month has been bearish, and that is because this can do that formed last month told us that the market is not bullish enough and that is why it is a candle with multiple rejection with, with rejection from the upside and also from the downside so that is one of the reasons why we can say that looking at the monthly time frame the monthly time frame also can tell you what the market is doing in the bigger picture but then looking at the bigger picture that i just mentioned the market has been bullish right from december so this december can do the market was bearish and the market bottomed in december then in january we went very bullish in february we had a 50 50 candle a dodgy candle which is telling us the neither the buyers nor the sellers are in total control then the following month we had a push to the downside then we went bullish so this is what i can find on the monthly time frame for bitcoin so that is now on the weekly time frame which is telling us each candle represents the movement in a week. The market is bullish as well, but temporarily we are bearish, just like we found in the monthly time frame. So from this point, we've been bearish to this point. So I am bearish on Bitcoin, and I will be looking for at this 24k zone for an area to buy massively again and look at somewhere around 31k or maybe 36k zone so and the meaning is that for the month of the weekly time frame on bitcoin the market is bullish overall but we are temporarily bearish and we have broken a support around this level so booking this support i'll be looking for if the market can come to the downside again and give me a bullish sign around here so that is overall what i can see using the higher time frame on bitcoin but now let's switch to the lower time frame so this is daily two daily two is suggesting some bearish but then we are clearing some liquidity the market is trying to clear some liquidity around this place so let's find opportunities 
on the lower time frame. Yeah, so this is the lower time frame. This is the lower time frame. Pardon me, I have too many areas on levels on BTC because this is the pair I trade a lot. So now the markets just cleared some liquidity. The market just cleared some liquidity around here, taking stop loss hunt, you know, taking out a lot of traders who were buying around this area. And I feel before we can before the market comes to this area the market want to like push up again so i'll be expecting a situation whereby the market is going to push up to this 26 gay zone and give me a rejection a sign telling me that the market is not ready to go up and from that we we'll short and target this this zone so i'll be looking out for that and most times in btc i trade i take my trade on the four hour and that's because you know btc is the price action is, is very simple and you don't need to be too scared especially if you are taking the trade that might last for a very long time so that is pretty much how i analyze the market using different time frame and using different concept conferences to be able to take pick accurate trade so i feel looking at the higher time frame is going to give you an opportunity to look at the big picture of what's happening in the market just like we have in btc the big picture is an uptrend since january but we have been having a ride to the downside and you can't neglect that so you just have to look at your areas of values and take trades according to what you have in your area of value fine the market is currently at the minor support and i wouldn't want to be taking it long here because to me it doesn't make sense it's just a minor support and it's just i just feel the markets only clear some liquidity here so look at the bigger picture what's happening look at the lower time frame what's happening okay how can i balance between what the higher time frame is telling me and the lower time frame and what the lower time frame is telling me okay can i find an opportunity to take a scalp trade or a day trade does it make sense do i have a good reason to trade from this area and those are and questions like that are what you are supposed to be asking yourself whenever you combine two, three, or four time frame to trade. But in the absence of that, trying to trade for me just one time frame will might uh, affect your trading opportunities because you are just looking at just one thing and you are only seeing the market from just one perspective. And it will be better if you look at the market from different perspective and trade using all the perspectives you've seen from the market so i hope you got from values from this video if you learned something from this video kindly assist me by putting a comment in the comment section and telling me what you've been able to learn from this video also make sure you like this video it's very important subscribe to my channel and i'm going to see you in the next video